am Captain Wayne, and welcome to Cow Creek Country in the Pacific Northwest and a lovely sunset, I may add. Now, why have I brought you up here? I brought you here to show you this. This, my friends, is the Pacific Ringneck Snake. Have you ever seen a more gorgeous little reptile? You see the end of his tail. He's curling it up into sort of a turban shape. Now, what this strikes me has is some sort of a warning. It may be saying something like, if you eat me, you will die because I am poison. I don't know if he really is poison, and I'm not going to eat him to find out. Now, I've heard rumors from other people that they are actually a mildly, mildly venomous rear fanged snake. But however, I've read quite a lot of professional publications, and I have not seen anything referring to this, so I take it with a grain of salt. He's got a pretty little ring around his neck, and of course the belly, the undercoloring, shades from a lovely bright orange to a scarlet underneath the tip of the tail. He's got all coiled up there. And why am I wearing a plastic glove? Well, I'll tell you. He has scent glands inside the cloaca and the tail end of his body, and he smells bad. Very bad. Why does he smell so bad, oh, Captain Wayne? Because there are many creatures in the forest that have a well-developed olfactory sense. And when they encounter this little creature and frighten him into ejecting his scent, they are less than enthused about eating him, as most of us would be as well. They are pretty small. I've seen individuals as large as perhaps a, a foot and a half in length, but usually they're about the size of this little guy and quite often even smaller. Actually, I don't know if this one is a male or a female. It is getting rather dark and I'd have to put my glasses on and do a detailed examination of his business end, which, eh, another time, is her yet. But see what a very precious looking little beautiful creature this is. It's such vibrant colors. They are an animal of the forest and they eat small arthropods, invertebrates, worms, perhaps snails, bugs, insects, nothing very big and they're rather secretive. But we find a lot of them up here because they come out onto the warm road after a hot day and soak up that nice heat on the pavement, which also leads to the demise of a great many of these reptiles when vehicle traffic goes back and forth and ends their little lives. So this one is going to be removed well off of the forest before I release him again. The Pacific Ringneck Snake you may turn the camera off now, camera.